Hello, welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy and day five of the five days of Easter collab that is hosted by Kara Brandon Creations and Dear Julie Julie. You can find both of them in the links below in the description box along with a list of all the other Easter elves that are taking part in this collaboration. The hashtag, if you want to look across social media, is hashtag number five, days, Easter, Easter is capitalized, 2022. So for today, which like I said is day five, we have these pieces. And these are from Dear Julie Julie's portion of the of the um, challenge collaboration. We have this card, which is a smaller version of another one that we have seen elsewhere. We have this envelope, and it's one that Julie actually had, and it had that little tear in it, and so I went ahead and cut around it. We have this, which is um, included in another piece that Julie put together that I actually made my, um, sorry for all the ums today, my brain's not working, that I made my egg diorama shadow box. We have this hat, which we've seen before. You know what I keep saying we've seen before. I don't know if we've seen it or not. I can't remember. And I have gone through and cut out everything from all the kits, plus some of the other things that are available, like the tags and journals kit that you can get, the uh, background pages that you can get, the pockets that you can get, the fussy cuts that you can get. So I may just be getting them all mashed up together in my head. These three pieces are also from Dear Julie Julie, as is this piece, which I'm sure that's an egg, but to me it very much looks like a cameo. And then this is the part that is from Kara. She has made this collage background sheet, and I had two of these printed, and I've already used one elsewhere. So I'm going to use this one today along with all of these other pieces. And here is what I made. Now, I will tell you ahead of time, I cannot remember exactly why all was in the kit because I was pulling from previous pieces and things that I already had, and so I kind of lost track of what was in the kit and what was not. Hopefully, I got everything that was in the kit for today into this make. So the first thing I'm going to do is scoot these to the side so I can show you one at a time the pieces that I made. And the first one I'm going to show you is this journaling card. And this piece here was from today's kit pieces. And I added, let's see, this was left over from one of the other days from Kara's kit. And you remember the bunny that I'm having so much issue with? I took the two large prints and I used my scallop circle and I just punched a whole bunch of pieces out that made good backgrounds. And I used that one that came from here and I put this up on a pop dot to raise it up just a little bit and to help the butterfly's wings stay up. And this particular card I think is from Julie from last year. It was one of the freebies from her Facebook group. So that's the first one. The next one was the cute little envelope that had the torn edge. And I used some of my washi that looks like old time masking tape. And I didn't want to cover up the fact that it looked damaged. I wanted to kind of accentuate it, really. And so I used that washi tape on there. I added this lace and this stamp to the front of the envelope. And I made a collage on the back using some of Kara's images. And her purple button is under this purple button. And this is her label. And then on the inside, I just tucked a few pieces that I think are from previous days of the kit. Plus an Uncle Wiggly card. I think, actually, these may have been from the tags kit, from Kara's tags. 
kit. And then it closes like that. And I chose to open it on the end because when I started to glue it shut, you could no longer see the little details of the torn edge. And I just wanted that to show. The next thing I made was this piece. And it is from, let's see if I can find the image. I had two copies of it. And I don't think I did anything with the second one. And so there was what it originally looked like. And I know it's supposed to be an egg. Or I'm pretty sure somebody said it was supposed to be an egg. I thought it looked more like a cameo. So I did this. I made it into a cameo. And what I did was I put a really thin line of my glue right around the edge of the egg shape. And I let that dry. This is Fabri-Tac because I didn't want my ink from my printer to run. And this is not water-based. It is silicone-based, I believe. And so I made a really thin line with that. Actually, no. The first thing I did was put packing tape over the image. I placed it on a piece of book page, put packing tape over it. Then I did the glue because the packing tape sealed the um, ink and I didn't have to worry about it. I still used my Fabri-Tac to make the edge. And then I took my Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. And I've used this a few times and I forgot. And it says right at the beginning, do not shake because it causes bubbles. And I shook it. So she has a little bubble right on her cheek that looks almost like a beauty mark. So I just, I just left it. Then I came in and I added in some, some fabric flowers and some pearls and this little ribbon here. And then on the back, I added a journaling spot and another flower with a pearl. And I may come back in with gold and go over the Fabri-Tac to kind of frame that. I have a gold pen from scrapbook.com that I have been using in making other things in the journal. So it will be cohesive. And then I just have the ribbon there for that tag. And I really think that turned out well. I love the cameo tag. Next, I have a stuffed library pocket, library card pocket. And the first thing I did, I wrapped this blue fabric, this blue gingham around the card because it went really well with the kit part of Kara's that had the blue gingham. And... I wrapped it around and glued it on the back. I made a pocket from my second copy of the envelope. I just cut off the flaps. And this pocket has a little bit of collage on it. And then inside I have a tag. And this is also from the rabbit. I just punched that out from right there. And I added, that was Julie's, and then I added one of Kara's little uh, bird basket. I think it's really cute. I took a piece of the gingham here and a brad and put those at the top of that tag. I added this little journaling card that is from hmm, a set of die cuts that I think, you know, I have no idea where I got that from. It's from a collection. I have a whole set of these, and some of them I will be using in my, in my major project for this. This is one pocket. This is the second pocket, and this is a piece that is from Kara's po uh, pocket, no, from her folio kit. And inside that pocket, I have this journaling card, and it is one of Kara's. This is the same one that I made my dimensional egg out of or whatever it's called, shadow box. And I put it on paper that I had used for um, inking. And then I put some um, journaling paper on the back of that. And then in this pocket, I have a card that I think I got from, I think this is also from the same set from uh, Julie from last year or the year before. 
and I added some eyelet and some sari silk at the top and sewed all the way around that journaling card. And then this is also from that Dear Julie Julie kit, and I just added some vintage seam binding to it and made a journaling card for that. And this is from Kara's kit. It is one of the pockets from the pockets of the folio kit. And since I already had the gingham, I added the gingham. And I think that that same calla lily set or a similar one image may be in one of Julie's images from this particular challenge. I'll have to go back and look. These all fit right back in there, just like this. And the other thing that I made, this was the large one. This has a lot of different things in it, and I struggled because the only thing we got from Kara was this background, but I needed to use things to tie it in with Julie's kit. So I made an envelope, and it's a different kind of envelope. I made this um, edge strip, ruffled edge strip with sari and two different kinds of ribbon and some eyelash trim and some different die cuts from both Julie and Kara. Right here I have one of my uh, leftover frames and I just enclosed this image from Julie's inside of it and added that and it is on some purple tulle. I have collaged a little bit here and here. And on the back, I have some more collage. I have this washi tape that the colors go perfectly with the entire challenge of the whole thing. And I added this forget-me-not. And I think the rest of it is just collage from Julie and Kara. Now this part opens up. I have little pieces of Velcro on each end. And I think I'm going to have to re-glue it because it's not... Yeah, I need to... Right now those dots are on the music paper that was on the background and it's just not strong enough to hold on to them. So I'll have to redo that. But this, I have... I don't know if you can see it. That's all the farther it opens because I have tool here that I fastened in and in here. So it becomes a pocket. And this is going to be in the center of my journal that I am making so that I can hold all kinds of bits and stuff. And if I open it up like this, you can see that, that uh, ribbon ruffle a little bit better. And I just really like the way it turned out. I backed the, the uh, I backed Kara Brandon's sheet with this piece of cardstock, scrapbook cardstock, so that it would be a little bit stronger because it's going to be open and closed and going to be sewn into the middle of a signature by itself. I'm not going to close that right now because I do need to go in and readjust the Velcros. I can sit it like that though. So these are my makes for day five of the Five Days Easter 2022. Thank you for joining me today, and as always, be kind. Bye.